Hi everyone and welcome back to SFS Kids Sundays from Silksworth. I'm Richard and it is brilliant to have you with us once again and I really hope that you're going to enjoy SFS Kids today. Well we're nearly there it's almost Christmas so is it all calm and peaceful in your house or are you getting really excited? Well during Advent we're lighting candles each week and today we're going to light all five candles. The first is a sign of hope, the second is a sign of peace, the third is a sign of joy, the fourth is a sign of love and the fifth, the last one that we usually light on Christmas Day, reminds us that the baby Jesus grew into a man who said that he was the light of the world. Okay, are you ready to sing a song? I hope so. This is how we find out whether or not you are awake. So this week we're going to sing a Christmas song that I think you might just know. Well, I hope you enjoyed singing Little Donkey. Well, it's virtual Sunday school time. Over on the virtual Sunday school channel, they're doing an advent calendar each day until Christmas. And there's a link in the details below if you want to find that. You should take a look. They're always doing something fun and always a little bit crazy. Last week, we had part one of their nativity. And this week, it's going to be part two, the birth of Jesus and the angels and the shepherds. So are you seated comfortably? Over to you, Nat. Today, we're going to look at the next instalment in our nativity. So we'll look at the Bible story, craft, prayer, 
and then finish with a final thought. So grab your drink and a festive biscuit and let's do this! When you're stuck at home with time to spare Can't go outside, you're not going anywhere why don't you pull up a chair or pull up a suit Tune into virtual Sunday school Where the craft to do and a story or two Say hello to Nat, she's stuck at home too Why not tune in to virtual Sunday school? The story of Christmas can be found in the Gospels of Matthew and Luke right at the start. Last week we learned about Elizabeth and Zachariah getting pregnant and the angel visiting Mary and Joseph. And here is where we pick it up again and continue our rhyming story with a little help from our friends. Mary and Joe had a journey back to Bethlehem. There was a big Roman census that included them. They travelled 90 miles. It was pretty far and Mary was heavily pregnant and they didn't have a car. By the time they arrived, they really needed a bed. Somewhere to get some rest and somewhere to get fed. So they looked around the town, not sure where to begin. Then they knocked on a door, but sadly there was no room at the inn. On they went to another door, but there were no spaces. So they went on to another and the door was shut in their faces. Finally, they found somewhere, but it wasn't in a room. It was in a stable and the baby was coming soon. So Mary and Joseph and farmyard animals galore lay down their tired heads on a cold stable floor. Meanwhile, some humble shepherds in a field nearby were minding their own business when angels filled the sky. The shepherds were terrified cowering below. Well, it's not every day that an angel says hello. The angel brought good news that would bring them all great joy. The Messiah had been born, a little baby boy. They would find him in Bethlehem. Do not be afraid. He'd be wrapped in swaddling clothes and in a manger laid. Then more angels did appear, singing praises to God on high. So the shepherds headed on down to where the new king did abide. So there's the next instalment. Our story's up to date. We'll see what's in store in a week. Till then, you'll have to wait. Craft time. Craft time. <laughs> Today, we're going to create a shepherd. You will need an empty toilet roll, pipe cleaners, candy cane, a bit of material, tissue paper, googly eyes, pens and glue. Oh, and tape. Man, that's a lot. Grown-ups, sorry. <laughs> First, we're going to draw a little face on our shepherd. If you've got googly eyes, stick those on. If not, you can just draw the eyes on with the rest of the face. Next, we're going to stick a pipe cleaner onto the back to create the arms. Then, we'll create a little coat for our shepherd from tissue paper and glue that on. Maybe your shepherd has a multicoloured coat like Joseph, or maybe it's all one colour. Now I'm going to cut a little bit of material as a belt and as a head covering. You can use another little bit of pipe cleaner to keep the head covering on. Finally, give your shepherd his shepherd's crook either as a candy cane or create it from a pipe cleaner. And there we have our shepherds! You could even make more than one! For today's prayers, we are going to thank God that he is always with us and that he loves us. Dear God, Thank you that you love us and that you sent your son to save us. Thank you that you are always with us, even when we face difficult situations. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. And so, a final thought. Travelling 90 miles when pregnant isn't exactly ideal. And then, when you get there, imagine being told that you're giving birth in a stable. Not exactly the easiest experience. And speaking from experience, being pregnant does make everything more difficult. But God knew it would be tough and he was with them every step of the way. 
Even when we think something is less than ideal, we can trust that God is still in control and he is still with us wherever we go. I hope you guys are still enjoying our daily virtual advent calendar videos, cause we are. We've got loads more this week and if you've missed any, you can go back and watch them on our channel. See you tomorrow. That was great. And tune in next Sunday for part three. Don't miss it. Shall we sing our Christmas song now? I hope you're getting to know this one really well. All the angels sing. Christ has gone to a manger bed. Mary laid him there. Come and fill the sky with shouts of praise. Lift your voice with me and sing, 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 sing. Right, that's it for this week. There is still time to paint a stone for our Christmas cairn of hope. So check out our Christmas cairn video. Look for this logo. It will tell you what to do. I hope you can find time to paint one because if you did, that would make me so happy. Right, that's it for this week. Don't forget to check out Virtual Sunday School on YouTube, especially the virtual advent calendar. And make sure you subscribed for SFS Kids videos too. So are you ready for the messy grace? The one with actions on your feet? Now I was told by one of our older viewers this week that I haven't been doing the actions properly. So I'm gonna try and put that right this week. So can I say, sorry, Bill. So here we go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Wonderful. Well done. Can I wish you all a very, very, very Merry Christmas. And on Christmas morning, don't forget that you can't get up before eight o'clock. Can you manage that? And when you wake up, will you promise that the first thing you say is, Happy Birthday, Jesus.
that would be amazing. That's all for today. See you next week. Bye.